You know, recently, um, I, I have a little nephew and he's a giant. I mean, he's an absolute giant. He's, he's only 14 years old. Right. And he's already six foot five. He's going to be a giant. And the, uh, you know, a few weeks back, his mom and his sister and him had a little, you know, a little spat over a cell phone, you know, out of anger because he was punished off of his cell phone. He breaks his sister's cell phone. Right. Which causes, you know, my sister and him to get into it. And she's she's not with the father at this time. Right. So there's a lot of transition and adjusting going on here. And he storms out of the house angry, you know, and, the, and you know, in the old proverbial, I'm running away. Shit, you know, nine o'clock at night, I'm running away. It's freezing cold. OK, you got on gym shorts and a T-shirt. I'm, let me know how that work out. All right. So he takes off running. So I tried to, you know, bring him back into the house and. He even pulled away from me, someone who he who he's never acted that way. But he was really, really angry because, you know, scientific studies have said you cannot take these electronics from these children because they have never known a world without electronics. And here he was without his electronics. And, you know, one psychiatrist even classified it as a form of abuse when you stripped them of electronics. I'm like, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. But anyway. Out of frustration, my sister calls the police, unbeknownst to any of us, right? And at the point that I'm about to rip her head off for doing that, they show up. Dick's on hard, ready to kill somebody. You know how white cops arrive. And to add to this, this is white cops in St. Bernard Parish. This is St. Bernard Parish white cops who have a long history of causing, causing different colors of people to disappear. You know, bodies just floating in bayous and shit as if that person went to take a swim or a baptism that went wrong. And so here we are with white cop, three white cops. No, I'm sorry. Five white cops in seven cars. OK, we got five white cops out there standing, talking to us, aiming their little cameras, which they're only going to have on for a minute because when the killing starts, those cameras are not going to be on. Right. But right now for the preliminary shit, the cameras are on. So there's five of them there, you know, and there's two of them in cars, you know, seven cars of police for a temper tantrum. And I turn to my sister in front of them and I say, do did you want them to come here and kill him? And the cop said, don't tell her that. Why would you tell her that? I said, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to my sister. Did you want them to come here to kill them, kill him? Because the only reason why this many white cops would show up here is to murder the black person involved. I said, don't you ever call them unless you want that black person dead. Don't ever call white cops to settle disputes among black family members. They don't know how to do anything else. They've only been trained. They don't know how to de-escalate a situation. They de-escalated by shooting the child. She said, no, I don't want to kill him. I said, well, let this be a lesson to you. You see how many cars they sent? They sent those cars and these cameras because we're about to, they're about to engage in a type of pornography of debt. They're here to carry out in this type of perversion that they love which is the pornography of debt. So let's not get them involved, okay? And I hugged her. I said, now I'll deal with them. And I turned to the cops and I say, this is a private matter within this family. And I'm asking you to leave. Well, can, can we get his name? I said, no, you cannot get his name. I don't want you to have his name because I don't want his name in your database of people that you are tracking or will eventually disappear or you will just flat out murder. You will not have him in your system. Well, sir, sound like you have an issue with cops, but you, we haven't done you anything. I said, you, you have your relationship with African-Americans is public. You, you have done us something for over 300 years. And we have no desire to interact with you or your kind. And I'm asking you to go be with your own kind. 
they left. <laughs> they packed their shit up and they left. At that point, when they realized, well, we won't get to, we, we won't get to jerk off over a dead body at this particular house. And, you, you know, and my criticism of white cops may sound harsh, but you got to understand that this is 300 years. So part of this shit for me is also genetics because white cops killed a member of our family. And my sister was too young to notice that. But the point of this is to talk about this legislation. I only told that story to tell you about this bill. Guys, they're not even hiding it anymore in the language anymore. It's not even being hit. White assholes are openly demonstrating. They're openly opening their white cheeks and letting us see the white assholes. Governor Landry signed a bill saying that white judges, that's not what he said, but I've read the bill. And basically what it says that white judges now have the liberty if they want to throw uh, African-American kid away for life and they want to perform some sort of ethnic cleansing of a community and get rid of everybody that doesn't look like Caucasians. They now have that liberty, but they also have the discretion, guys. They also have the discretion that if they come across white children who have committed the same crimes, that they can they can lean towards reform. They can they can opt they can opt out like they, they, he has given white judges an opt out on this bill that they don't have to use this bill to prosecute children. So basically Louisiana has made it has, has, has pretty much made it a common law across the state that they can now throw children into Angola state penitentiary where they will be abused, murdered and fucked for the rest of their lives. They have thus said that there isn't anybody that can be reformed. So if you have a 17 year old who's found with a gun, you can now throw him away for life by trying him as an adult. Unless it's a white child, because the point that I really want to drive home to African-American parents is that your African-American child is not a child in the eyes of Caucasians. Unless your child is in some sort of athletic uniform that isn't a child, that is a, 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 a younger human being that's going to eventually turn into one of them. That's how they see our children. That's why we have so many African-American women who die, who are now dying at the hand of white labor and delivery nurses, because those labor and, and delivery nurses don't feel that that black women even deserve pain medication. They feel that their pain tolerance is as high as a horse or a cow or a mule. And they can just spit. They don't they don't they don't need you don't have to check no temperature on no African-American woman who's delivering a baby and she's burning up with a fever. Why would you do that? She's just like a cow or a mule. She She'll get over it. She'll walk it off. Just let the fucking placenta hang out of her until the shit dry off or just just fall out. But fuck, fuck treating her or giving her any kind of assistance. You, you got to understand how white people see us. And once you begin to understand how they see us, you will be less trusting of them. You will be more protective of your child. See, you cannot allow your kid, your job, as an African-American parent, it's not just raising them and feeding them. You have to keep your child unknown to white people. Fuck sports. Keep him or her unknown to them. Keep his name out of their databases. Because once he's in their, in their system, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, you can think, well, my son was in their system. He plays sports, but let him fuck up. And watch how fast... They'll take his name from a good thing, having played sports, and they'll transfer that shit to look what he did. Look what happened to him. He could have been great, but he fucked up. Their children are allowed to fuck up in peace and in quiet with, with the protection of white judges, but let yours fuck up. Then here comes these. Here comes white America. Here comes white Louisiana doing what the fuck they do, removing them from society, erasing them 
off the planet of the earth, dump in the minimum place where they will be abused and fucked for the rest of their lives in the name of justice and law and peace. And what they do is they leave us with their criminals, with their fucking perverts and their killers and their drug dealers. Because a white drug dealer and a white killer is not as bad as a black drug dealer and a black killer. Any fucking questions?